thank you for watching Mugumi Canary live videos. Hopefully you are inspired and we are impacting on your life. Right here on Big Eye. Keep the comments coming in and thanks to the powerful assistant for making these videos happen. After the launch of the iPhone 7, I've seen a lot of young people on social media swearing on how they're going to do anything just to get to that new iPhone model in their hands. I asked a lot of people, why do I need an iPhone again? Haven't yet met any man or woman who has given me a straight answer. Seems like all these Apple products cost twice as much as other stuff do, I would say. What exactly do they offer? All I get in reply was something about viruses, security or class and etc. But people just want to fit into the crowd. Whatever the hot girl at campus or the famous guy at your workplace has, everyone else needs to have it. But is it really that? So on and so forth. So the next thing you know, everybody you know in December will have an iPhone 7. For years I've paid a lot of money from the iPhone 4 to the iPhone 4S to the iPhone 5 etc. And life was just fine. Then I suffered from a common ailment of greed. I thought I had what was sufficient, but I wanted more. I wanted the most slim and slick phone that modern society produces as a bitter trade for the isolation of post-industrial life. I wanted to get attention because of the phone I was holding. I wanted to go to meetings and display it just on the table just like that so people can get scared. So I went and bought an iPhone 6 for myself. I thought I had done something of moral worth. My friends would tell me, hey, now I see you've joined the iPhone League. Finally, an iPhone 6. I didn't know I had bought myself a set of chains. The chains that are shaped like an iPhone. And they bind me into a big, huge phone bill. I do not remember how much Airtel used to charge me for every month for data. But it was quite a lot. In this case, the phone bill was metaphorical boulder. And I was chained to it. So I asked myself, do I own this phone? Or does the phone own me? Rather than buying an iPhone, perhaps I should have spent more money dealing with the eye that matters. I'm talking about me on the inside. You see, this phone makes phone calls, sends text messages, takes pictures. It has all the apps. It sure seems to me like the new iPhone does exactly the same thing like my old iPhones did. The biggest difference was I was paying 35,000 shillings every day. For a month, that's about 1.05 million shillings. You know how much that is in a year? 12.6 million shillings. If I invested this money each year for the next 20 years, I would have myself enough money to buy an apartment instead. I bought a phone that sends text messages in blue rather than green. Is an iPhone more of an asset than buying an apartment that I'm going to rent out for the next 10 years and make more money that is going to help me build more six apartments? Really, life is hard and the only things that are really important are peace, justice and love. The world is full of people like Steve Jobs, Tim Cook, uh, Mark Zuckerberg who have found that they can seem to make good money through exploiting the fundamental desire for love that we all have inside of us. The love for gadgets. Around every dark corner lax and a hustler or a conniver ready to promise you that the expensive gadget or app will find will fill the hole inside of you. Seems like you have to even build the world's biggest company that way. I'm talking about the love for gadgets that is not worth it and it seems like we are still learning the hard way. But it will be all worth it if one person among us all of you can learn from my mistake and not spend all this money in bills that are not worth it. Invest this money into a business that is going to make you more money other than investing it in, in a phone that is going to help you, uh, you know, view people's Snapchats and Instagram posts and Facebook posts that are not worth it. You don't need an iPhone. Yes, I just said it. It's just a phone that does basically the same stuff like every other cell phone does. Spend more time in doing other things that are helpful. Read philosophy and have less time worrying about what is or isn't in the last iPhone model. At least in philosophy you can learn about wisdom or you might just find a little happiness in just relaxing and reading a book about philosophy. It makes you sound smart and you can use this facet to attract more opportunities. No one wants to associate with someone who knows about what the iPhone 7 has, what the iPhone 6 does not have. Everyone wants to associate with someone who has learned something about philosophy and seems smart and you know create opportunities around that. In a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is spend more time in things that build you as a person. Spend your money in things that are worth it. You are just 20 years, you're in your mid-20s or late 20s. These are like the best years of your life. Spend time and money in the things that build you into the next level other than spending time and money in things that are not worth it. Thank you for watching Mugume Canary Live. Keep the comments coming in. Catch you next week.